Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, this video is going to be my nipple piercing care cleaning video. That made sense. That's not the intro I was going to go for, but we're just going to roll with it. Alright, so, um, let me just say this. I'm going to film a video on how I clean my dimples. I'm not going to film a video on how I clean any of my other piercings, just dimples and nipples. Um, just because I feel like these piercings need a little extra care to them. Whereas I feel like all my other piercings are pretty standard to clean, probably with the exception of the tongue piercing because it doesn't require like a special cleaning solution, just basically mouthwash, alcohol free mouthwash. Don't use alcohol, it'll be bad. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to get into it. Um, so for my nipples, what I've been doing is I've been cleaning them with this solution. And this is the solution that I used for this tragus, my nose, and last time I had my belly button pierced. So the time before this time. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. I will swear by this stuff. Um, and it's the Studex After Piercing Lotion. And I absolutely love this. You can, I think you can find this online, obviously. Uh, I think Amazon has it, but I think that they have their own website where you can buy it as well. Um, now, I absolutely love, love, love this stuff. The only downside to this stuff is on the back it says... Um, it tells you to like turn your piercing or something like that, um, or slide your piercing post back and forth, which is a big no. Everyone who gets piercings should know not to do that. So a lot of piercers try to steer clear of this because it says that and people are idiots and they won't listen to the piercer, they'll listen to what this bottle says. Um, but the solution is really good. So what I've been doing, I've been using this and I'll put it on one end of a Q-tip and I will clean one side of the piercing, then I'll flip the Q-tip over to the clean side that hasn't had any solution on it, and I'll put some solution on it and clean the other side, and I'll get a new Q-tip and just repeat that on the other one. And so that's what I've been doing for that. Um, I actually have not yet sea salt soaked my nipples because I just they haven't needed it yet. Um, but what I would do if I was going to do it is I would take one of these cups, or it, better if you have a shot glass, um, but I don't have a shot glass, um, so one of these cups, and I would put enough of my sea salt soak solution in here to where if I this is gonna be awkward, <laughs> where if I were to put my like boob in it, like the solution would be able to reach my piercing. If that makes any sort of sense, like I said, definitely easier if you have a shot glass, but I don't. So this is what I would use. Um, so for in the shower, you can use. Or I, I use um, antibacterial hand soap and this one is fragrance free it's just clear and I use this on numerous of my piercings and it's just work and it's fine um, some people do disagree with using it so if it, it's just one of those things that if it works for you then by all means go for it and if it doesn't then do something else obviously um, and another thing that I've been doing in the shower if I forget to grab this and put it in the shower before I hop in um, is I'll use plain dove soap, like the pump kind, um, not the bar kind because that's probably full of bacteria, um, just the pump kind, uh, and I'll lather my hands. I wash my hands first before I do that, by the way. Even though I'm in the shower, I wash my hands, weird, and um, just fragrance-free dove soap. I just go like that in my hands, get it all lathered up, and then I just wash my nipples with it, and it's really that simple. I mean, that, that was working fine for me as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm cleaning them twice a day in the morning and then before I go to bed. Uh, but if I work out in, during the day, then obviously I will clean them when I'm in the shower after I wash myself from the workout. Um, I think that's it really. It's pretty easy to clean them. Um, definitely kind of like annoying for me because of like the Q-tips, the amount of Q-tips I'm using. But you know, what are you gonna do? I'd rather waste not waste, but use a bunch of Q-tips than have like f fucked up, infected nipples. <laughs> that just doesn't sound cute. Um, but I think that's it. I don't really have much else to say. If you guys have any questions, please just feel free to ask and I will answer them best to my ability. Keep in mind, I am not a professional. Um, I definitely do have experience with piercings, but I am not a professional and you should definitely go ask your piercer if the reputable piercer. Um, any questions you have? So I think that's it. Love you guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.